Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Flask framework, which is a microwave framework, and it is used for web development and especially for making website. So in this series, we are gradually going to learn what is Flask and how you can use it for preparing websites and other web applications. So first, you have to know that Flask is a micro web framework. Okay, so what is Flask? Flask is a micro web framework written in Python. So across the globe, Python programmer uses Python programmers use this framework, and uh, it is classified as a micro framework because it does not require particular tools or libraries. So this is one speciality in Flask. So you can get uh, the required results that is website or other web application in very quick time that's why it is classified as a micro framework because it does not require particular tools or libraries and it has no database abstraction layer uh, forum validation or any other component where pre-existing pre third-party library provide common functions so that is another benefit of flask and uh, it has got a lot of popularity in the recent time and you have two framework one is django framework another one is flask so django is just the first and flask is just the second so it is getting popularity day by day so first flask has become popular among python enthusiasts as of october 2020 it has second most starts on github among python web development frameworks only slightly behind django and was voted most popular web framework in the python developer survey 2018 so there must be some good thing in flask so that uh, everyone is using it and uh, you can see in the recent time the real application of flask maybe i mean it's a social network basically to offer jobs and you can create profiles on linkedin and print test is uh, is a place where you can have images and all so that is also related to social networks social media so this these two applications uh, are the crucial so as flask has been used so what are the major components of flask uh, the micro framework flask is based on the three major component one is poco project second one is second one is work zig and third one is uh, jinja 2 what are the features of flask so features of flask are these development server and debugger and you can get these following fleet features integrated support for unit testing restful request dispatching uses jinja templating so jinja templating is available in flask support for secure cookies which is a client size session 100% 100% WSGI 1.0 compliant Unicode based extensive documentation is there Google app engine compatibility is also available extension available to enhance features desired okay so these are the features you can avail in flask so let's let's go to the python editor and learn some learn one basic program that uses flask so that you can make one simple website okay and gradually more videos will come on flask so that you can learn Fla flask in detail okay so let's dive in the python editor pycharm here we are in the pycharm editor and we are going to see how to deal with flask tutorial uh, this okay how to deal with flask so first we have to create it is better to create a fl uh, create a folder for this uh, particular application so first what install flask in your uh, python you know terminal so for that you have to write pip install flask f l a s k so by this process flask will be installed so it has started installing so what is pip pip command all of you know that pip is basically a package manager for python packages okay so basically pip is a python package manager okay so what is package a package contains all the files you need for a module so modules are 
Python code libraries. So modules are needed everywhere. Every time you do programming, you need modules. So modules are Python code libraries you can include in your project. Okay. So this is what uh, this flask has been uh, installed by this pip command and you can see this is a virtual environment okay so so this is virtual environment is written as v e n v virtual environment we are not going into what is virtual environment and all we are directly uh, going to see how to write so first you have to write uh, from flask import flask so from fla escape flask import fla Okay, so this this one is small letter F. This one is capital letter. So this is there is some difference over here. First, you have to import uh, first class. Mm -hmm. First, you have to import Flask class. Okay, so you have to write uh, from Flask import Flask. So here this F is capital, and here it is small letter. You have to be a little bit careful. So two things you have to do. First, we are going to import Flask class. Okay. Next, we need to create an instance of this class. So, how to create class class? So, for that, you have to write, let's say, you have to write app equal to, let's say, flask flask, and then underscore, double underscore, name, name, and then double underscore. Okay. So, by this process, we are creating the creating the you are importing the flask class and then we need we, we are creating an instant of this class okay depending on it so this name is there so depending on it because if you are using single module you should use underscore name underscore and double underscore name double underscore okay uh, and if you are using um, it it started as application or imported as module the name will be different okay uh, this is needed as flask knows where to look for templates and then static files and so on okay and these all are important uh, next we are going to have we're going to write app at app dot route this route is a function and then inside this route function is the argument you have to write slash and then this so this route is a function okay and this function uh, this route function is a decorate to tell flask that what url should trigger our function so this route function is a decorate which will tell flask what url should trigger our function okay so the function is given a name which is also used to generate url for that particular function and return the message we want to show in uh, so in in user browser so this is what uh, this uh, route function does and then you can write okay and then you can write definition let's say hello underscore world function and then here you will return hello world Okay, so this is what uh, this uh, program is all about. This is a basic program. So now what we are going to do, we are going to write, we have to run this app. So we are going to write if underscore underscore name double underscore equal to inverted comma main and then we are going to run this app app dot run one function and then this is a if statement so you have to put a colon over here now let us run this web server so what is what it is going to do it will uh, start this web server and this website is going to get running so and then you can create pages and all other things but this is the basic thing that we can do using flask okay so let's run it so you can see that uh, uh, this one this this URL is there so if you click this URL 
so this hello world is printed okay so this web server has been created so this web server has been started and as a in, a in the website first page we are printing this hello world okay now there can be many uh, other pages sub pages we can create using uh, flask i hope you have enjoyed this lecture thanks for watching